buy all your willies and Jeep restoration parts at thejeepsterman.com because we're not just Jeepsters anymore. Hey guys, this is John at Jeepsterman. Uh, today we're going to talk about something really cool. You don't really see a whole lot of these. Um, what we've got here is it's modeled after the 1942 Willys MB Jeep in a crate. Um, originally, this was a World War II thing, and initially they would send these over to the war uh, during World War II in crates, and then they'd be assembled in the war zone. Now, there's all kinds of urban legends, myths, whatever, that maybe you could buy these after the war, but I don't think that's ever actually happened. However, MD1 has recreated as much as they could the Jeep in a crate. So that's what we have here today. We're really excited about it. You don't see these very often, but Jeepster Man, we do carry these. So right now I'm just kind of holding this door closed because I wanted to show you the crate that this comes in. All right, so we're, they're using pine wood and such on these things. Got all the stampings on it, so it really looks cool. We had initially bought this for ourselves to take to a show, but we had a customer who really wanted it. Um, they're made to unfold, okay? Now you can get this same kit without this crate and the price is a little bit lower if you don't need this crate. But we definitely wanna show this to you because I don't think you'll hardly see these in the US. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold this down. All right, so there you go. And all four sides of this actually fold down and then the lid goes up on this thing. Now I did pull a couple of items already out on this thing so you could see everything better in here and we'll talk about it. Um, now, this kit, this kit comes with 88 items. I'm not gonna go through every single item. You can look on our website for Jeep in a Crate and one of the pages does show all 88 pit, pay, or I'm sorry, 88 products on there, but we'll just talk about some of the main products that come in this kit. So like I said, this is modeled after the 42 Willys MB. They come finished in an OD green primer, so they still need paint, okay? So obviously you have the tub, all right? We've got fenders, hood, we've got the grill, windshield frame, gun rack, we've got seats in this thing. We have all five uh, wheels and tires in this. And then you're gonna see all the brackets and such that would have came on one of these World War II and Bs that are also on these things. Now, something I wanna be very clear about, because we get this question, we get this call a lot. This is not a full kit, all right? There is no drivetrain with this kit. There's no transmission. There's no front and rear axle with this. There's no engine with this, all right? So there, there's no drivetrain with these, and nobody makes a complete kit that comes with the drivetrain and all that. But this is the most complete kit out there with 88 pieces that you will find. Um, so an excellent option for somebody that maybe has an entire drivetrain that's just wasted and really you just need a whole body and tub and everything, or for somebody who wants to build one from scratch and has all those parts they can assemble. Um, so we'll kind of walk through and talk about this a little bit more, but I wanted to be clear that it does not come with a drivetrain because we get asked that a lot. Um, and we'll just kind of start from the front here. You can see the earlier style MB grill on this thing. This thing has brand new frame and chassis. Something I want to point out about the frames. Um, MD Wand really does an excellent job on their uh, frames. They're robotic welded. Excellent welds on these things. I really like them. Um, and, and I feel like these, are, these frames are probably better than what you were going to see on original ones because they're built robotically. All right. And all this stuff. The other thing I like about the Jeep in a crate or any of the products that we offer that comes with a body and a frame they're pre-fitted from the factory so sometimes you would hear people complain that md1 tubs don't line up well maybe they don't line up with your frame or maybe things have been changed and that's why they don't line up uh plus you're talking about a 70 year old vehicle what's cool about getting these is they're already lined up so i've already went through and looked at all these body mount bolts all these pads everything's lined up on this thing so you're not going to have the issue of relocating or drilling holes or whatever um, for the tub to fit on these frames. They're already pre-fit for you. Um, not to say that you still won't have some small holes and stuff you'll have to drill, but as far as the frame being mounted to, to the tub and all of that, they're already pre-fit. Front clip, everything on these things. Um, so we talked about the front on this. You can see here, so it already has a fuel tank installed on it it's got seat frames all right we'll talk about the seat cushions in a minute because i'll open that up you can see it's already drilled for all the gauges in there uh there's leaf springs that are sitting inside of this kit i see a skid plate sitting in there this is the uh, manila rope that goes on the front 
um, bumper up there. It has data plates already on it on the passenger side. You can see it comes with the, uh, the top bows. There is a canvas top in here somewhere. I know that's part of the kit. So it's got that as well. And then on the back, it's kind of hard to see these, but it's got all the brackets you would have seen on an MB. So for the fuel can, I can see the spare tire bracket back there and I can see the bumperettes on there as well. All right, uh, then we're gonna move over. These, these are a few items that I pulled out of the crate. So these items were, were already in the crate. So this comes with a radiator, fan shroud. Here's one of the seat cushions. Here's an exhaust pipe that I see. These boxes were inside of that. I just pulled them out. Seat cushions and a couple other small miscellaneous parts in there. I see some, looks like extra primer in these things and more seat cushions. Uh, speaking about primer and metal, some people don't know this, the, the metal in these things is, is finished in what we call galvanil, uh, which is a corrosion resistant metal that hopefully you won't have the rust issues like you did on some of these other vehicles. Um, but like I said, you still would need to paint this vehicle. But you can find this kit on our website. I don't think there's there's hardly any of these other kits in the U.S. You do have to special order these things. And like I said, you can order this kit without the fancy um, wooden box. We can just get in it at a regular crate. If you need that, you can find these on our website. Our website's thejeepsterman.com. You can email us about this if you got questions. It's sales at thejeepsterman.com or you can call 314-798-6462. Thanks. To get a free copy of the Willys and Jeep Restoration Parts Catalog from the Jeepster Man, go to www.thejeepsterman.com and order your free copy today. <laughs>